If you've been paying any attention to what's going on in the social media landscape lately, you've heard of Blue Sky. It's the social media platform that looks a lot like Twitter that promises to be more engaging, friendlier, more customizable, and hopefully a little less antagonistic than that social media platform run by Elon Musk. But here's the thing. Most people that start off with Blue Sky do it wrong, or at least they miss out on a couple of important steps and they find the experience to be a little bit underwhelming, which is really unfortunate because Blue Sky is an amazing social media platform. And that's exactly why I've put this Blue Sky tutorial together because I want to show you the five things that every new Blue Sky user needs to do in order to get the very most out of this exciting platform, including the fifth one, which is finding and customizing your Blue Sky feed. So the platform gives you exactly the type of content that you want to see. But before we can do that, we've actually got to register and log into Blue Sky, which is super easy to do. But that is exactly what we're going to do next. This is Blue Sky. B-S-K-Y dot app is what gets you there. A little bit of anti-Trump political commentary on the landing page. That doesn't surprise me one little bit. If you've already got an account, just click sign in. And if you don't, it's super easy to create one. Just select the default hosting provider, Blue Sky Social. Put in an email address. Type in a difficult to guess password. Throw in your birth date, your real birth date, not the one that you use on the dating sites. Click next. Try and figure out a unique handle that speaks to you. I'm gonna use Cameron MCNZ. That's what I use on all my other socials on, on Twitter, on YouTube, on GitHub, on MySpace. I use it on all of those. You're probably gonna have to do a little verification to make sure that you are indeed human. So do the verification there and once it's figured out that you are indeed not a Russian troll bot, it's going to say to you, you know what, why don't you just set up your profile? And I'm just going to click that beautiful blue button there with a pencil on it. And I'm going to search for the most handsome picture I can find of myself. And there we go. And once that's uploaded, I can click continue. And once I click continue, it's going to ask me what my interests are. So I'm going to select a, a few. That's going to help figure out the discovery feed for me. But let me just mention, you know, the discovery feed is good. You really want to create custom feeds or find curated feeds to really get Blue Sky to deliver the type of content that you want to see. And that's what we're going to actually take a look at towards the end of this tutorial. Now, we've been welcomed into Blue Sky. There's a beautiful mushroom staring right at me. Feel free to scroll down a little bit and see what else Blue Sky has to offer. I would like to comment on this beautiful landscape here, but look what happens when I try to. It says, look, you got to at least verify your email before you can start commenting and replying to posts on Blue Sky. So what I'm going to do here is behind the scenes, I'm actually going to verify my email. It's just going to take a second. And once I've done that, I can actually come back in here. So I'm just going to click on that little chat bubble. It looks like it's already got 145 comments on it, but why not add 146? Then I'm just going to type in, hey, that is a beautiful mushroom. I'm going to throw a little emoji on there. Why don't we look for that super Mario mushroom right there and click reply and then boom. All of a sudden, there's 146 comments that'll update soon enough. And you've replied to your very first post on Blue Sky. You are now being social on social media. Now, what do you do next? Well, you know, if you want to be on social media, if you want to be social, you probably want to find your friends. So I'm going to click on the search field in the top right hand corner there, top left hand corner for people in Australia. And I'm going to type in the word scrum because I'm into the scrum framework. And look at that. The third one that comes up is Darcy DeClute, good friend of mine, the author of the scrum master certification guide. So I'm going to take a look at her profile. There's a beautiful blue button there that says follow. So I'm going to click on that and Boom, a toast comes up that says you are now following Darcy DeClute. Highly recommend you follow her as well. Notice I'm on her 
posts page. This shows me everything that she's posted in the past, but I could also creep a little bit and see all the things that she's replied to. So I can click on that replies tab and I can see that she's replied to the inquisitor over there. Another bloke that you might want to follow. I can click on the media tab, see what media she may have been posting. And there you go. It looks like she's one follower, one subscriber away from 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I don't know, I guess if you want to be that 5,000th subscriber, go search her out there. Now, why don't I do my own post? So just go to your own profile. Actually, you'll see that blue new post button on the left hand side. It's going to follow you throughout Blue Sky. Just click on that. And then the opportunity to do your own post comes up. I'm going to say, hey, this is my first post. Perhaps I should say hello world. That's what programmers always write in their first program. And I'll say either way, I am looking forward to making friends on this great Blue Sky platform. Click that post button and boom, all of a sudden, if I go back to my profile, you'll see that first post. And I think uh, I'm doing a pretty good job at being social on social media. Now going into Blue Sky and searching for your friends one person at a time is an absolutely valid way to build up your social media network, but it's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to use something really unique to Blue Sky, which is called a starter pack. Anybody on the Blue Sky Network can create a starter pack. I'm really big into Java, so I'm going to click on that search box in the top right hand corner, top left hand corner for those people in Australia. And I'm just going to type in Java advocacy. And when I've done that query, you'll notice that, well, I get a Java champions, rock stars and advocates starter pack. And if I click on that starter pack, what I get is a, a listing of thought leaders, interesting people, personalities that are associated with Java and the Java advocacy space. So we can see Mark Heckler, Mark Reinhold, Adam Bean, Bruno Borges, Tricia Gee, all right there. You can choose individuals to follow or you can just click follow all. And now all of a sudden those people will be added to your network. Now, if you then go back and look at your following feed, when you look at your following feed, you're going to end up seeing posts from all of those people that you just followed from that starter pack. And all of a sudden, Blue Sky starts to become interesting. So when I click on following, I can now see Darcy DeClute. I can see Trisha Gee. I can see, well, there's Darcy again. She's rather prolific, isn't she? Adam Bean, uh, Java champion, Ivor Grimstad talking about Jakarta EE as well. That is the way to really build up your network initially with Blue Sky and really start getting the most out of it. Now, as I said, I'm a, a Java developer, so I look for starter packs that would have to do with artificial intelligence and programming, maybe Mojo, Python. But, you know, maybe you're into equestrian, maybe you're into horse racing, maybe you're into literature. I'm really big on extreme ironing. Go and find starter packs and personalities who have interesting things to say in those spaces. As I said, you can really build up your network quickly and create a feed that is delivering the type of content that is exactly what you want to get out of Blue Sky. Now, it's been my personal experience that the majority of my time on Blue Sky has been spent in my following feed, interacting with, replying to, and sharing posts from people that I follow. But you can go beyond that and you can actually get custom curated feeds that other people have put together. So just click on the feeds link and type into the search box a particular area of interest for you. I'm going to type in astronomy and click the plus button next to it. And you'll notice on the right hand side, I've got a new feed for astronomy. I'm going to throw science in there, add the science feed and boom, you can see on the right hand side, it now says, well, I've got the science feed added to my blue sky experience. When I go back to the landing page or when I log into blue sky next, I'm actually going to get that astronomy feed and that science feed at the top of the page right next to the discover and the following tab. So and here we go. I go in, I take a look at the science tab and it looks like there's a new 
HIV prep drug candidate. Well, I want to go and take a look at that. And I look at my astronomy tab and well, look at that. The infinite monkey cage. I need to know as much about the infinite monkey cage as I can. So I'm going to bookmark that and take a look at that a little bit later. But that's the other way to get the most out of blue sky. It's not just about following people that you're interested in, but finding already curated feeds that's going to have interesting information on it and maybe introduce you to new people that you'll want to follow and interact with. Now, Blue Sky does promise to be a friendlier, less antagonistic platform than its predecessor, but you're still going to run into those bullies and those trolls who are constantly sounding off dog whistles for political violence when an election doesn't go their way, or they're going to describe everybody who doesn't agree with their opinions as a Nazi or a fascist. And when you do run into those people, the Blue Sky application actually gives you a very, very powerful tool. You just go to that person's profile, click on the three dots in the top right hand side and choose the block account option. When you block an account, that user can no longer reply to any of your posts. They can no longer see any of your posts. And more importantly, their posts will no longer show up in your feed. So you no longer have to be exposed to their negativity. The block button is a very, very powerful feature of this platform. Do not be afraid to use it. Now, I did say that there were five things you should do when you sign up for Blue Sky, but there's actually a six. The, the first five are, of course, signing up finding your friends and following them, looking for good starter packs, adding a curated feed, blocking the bullies and the trolls. And potentially, if you've got a domain name, you can actually map that to your account. So I've actually added my domain name, cameramckenzie.com, onto my account. And if you actually go in and look for me on Blue Sky today, I'm actually not cameramckenzie.bluesky.social. I'm actually cameramckenzie.com. If you've got a domain name, you can map that to your Blue Sky account, and then that can follow you forever. I've got a tutorial that shows you exactly how to do that. So feel free to, to check it out. And if you're not interested in doing that, well, please, at the very least, search for Cameron McKenzie on Blue Sky and follow. I would absolutely love to hear from you.